Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Gaming Weekly Update. This is your host, Kieran, and welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Now, where we left last time, we finished Lights Out, and I couldn't get that purple gem because I do not have the colored gem that required to to get it. So, to 100% it. So, all right, any further delay, let's start Jaws of Darkness. And I believe this is another level that's going to... Oh, to require the blue gem. I've got the blue gem, haven't I? Haven't I? Yeah, I have. So I can beat this 100%. Sweet. Good to know that. Now get you and... Whoop. There we get a lot of you. Yeah, this level can be quite... Can be quite devilish, so... Just keep your eye out for these pillars. Just jump at the right time. Now, I'm trying to remember. Is there a thingy backwards? I don't think there is. Right. Jump forward to here. Just as well I unlocked the blue gem because I would never have been able to beat this 100%. Ooh. Right. Jump forward. Let me jump across here. Extra guy, but I think I'm full of guys. So... And then let's jumpy jumpy to this platform here. It's going to bring us down this way. And then this twirly twirl one is going to bring us to this platform here. Oh dear. I'll let you do your thing. Right, there we go. And kill switch engage is about to burn me. This fire burns. There's the Cortex token. Let's blow this TNT crate up. Now this can be bothersome. If you don't time your jumps right, you could mess up and die. Right, let's jump across. To, oh. Now this is the part where I usually always get confused at. Right, here we go. Right, this is why you need blue gem because there's a secret right here. Make sure we bounce high so that we don't miss anything secret. We jump to this one. Oh, I see. Because you have to jump like this. Aku Aku mask as well. Sweet. And then we keep doing this until we get where we need to go. We so satisfying breaking all those boxes, man. Right. This can be kind of tedious, but jump over here in case. There we go. Right. Here we go. Wait. You want to get that extra guy, just bounce like that. But I am at 99 lives, so not a whole lot to worry about there. All right, we'll come across here and. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, I timed that wrong. That was my mistake. All right, now we get this checkpoint. And... Oh, what? Oh, game. Back here again, so... We go on this platform, and that's going to take us across here. We're going to... Get the snake... That better not have blown up a secret token that I need. I sure hope it didn't. Oh, uh, there's a secret around here anyway, so. There's the second Cortex token. Oh, wait, that's... Oh, it did blow it up, didn't it? Right, I need to rip and try and get it, don't I? Oh, I've done the same mistake. Right, I think 
the token is in this one. Yep. So now we've done that, we can go back to where I screwed up. There we go. And it's already lit up and I got to the time I got here. So let's go and do this. Now, the Cortex ones are very tricky indeed. There we go. We do it like that. And then we boingy, boingy, boing. Oh, dang it. Poop. All right, got it that time. Right. There we go. And I got the key. <laughs> hey. Oh, Cortex, you do this to me, man. Oh, I hope I get the rest of the Torna tokens because I am not sure. Is it this way? Yep, it is. Okay, so. There's the second Torna token. I can tell it's not the third one just yet because there would be a portal next to it. There we go. Now, is that going to give me the last? 20. Oh, no. I think I've missed a box. I think I've missed a box. I hope I haven't missed a box. Please say I didn't miss one. I'm, I'm actually starting to get worried now. I have missed the box, haven't I? I have, haven't I? Yep, I have missed the box. Oh, no. Oh, I bet you it's that one I missed. Oh, game. I, I hope that's the one I missed. But we shall see, won't we? Oh, I'm going to be so mad if that was it. Come on. Oh, come on. When you try to cut the video and then you can't even get past the part you passed in two tries last time. Now, all of a sudden, when I found that missing box, I can't even pass this anymore. So what is the deal with this now? Like, why can't I suddenly now do this? Why can I not do it? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, just saved it. Oh, come on, reach it. Come on. How long is this going to take me to edit after this, man? Please, I just want to beat this level. Please reach it. I said reach it. Please, please, please. Oh, finally. Oh, I've lost count. How many times that's taken me to do? Oh. Now I can finally cut the video, hopefully, and I can get to where I was. Beat this stage. Already done it once. Not doing it again. And we finally got this blasted gem. So we can beat this stage finally. Yep. Got it. Don't even care. We got the gem. It's all good. Get your mind out the gutter. It, I know it says 69%, but let's not, <laughs> let's not do that. Well, it doesn't say that now. It's 76. Oh, wow. I actually went up quite a fair number of percentage numbers there, man. Right. Because I beat that stage, um, it unlocked this level up here called Fumbling in the Dark. And this, is, again, is not a fun stage. So, yeah, I may as well go and do this now. Because this level sucks. And I, felt, I know from experience that it sucks. Oh, 
So yeah, there's some secret boxes here. So I messed the jump up. That was my bad. Right. Let's do this properly now. So. Right. So we jump across here. Oh, what? Come on. Oh, what? I'm going to lose my mind with this game, man. Not that I haven't already, but there we go. It's kind of similar to the other level that's like this. The one from the last episode, the where we finished it from. Now, I hope there's a checkpoint soon because I don't want to do that beginning bit again. Sometimes you can jump at the sides and that makes it somewhat of a trick like to beat it. So, if you thought the other lights out level was not fun, this is no better. Yep. Where's the checkpoints, man? You cannot do me like that. Just, oh, thank you. So I, I am not doing this all again. Especially that beginning bit. Well, it doesn't matter. I got the checkpoint. Got a checkpoint. It's all good. It's all good. I've got it. I got it. Oh, spider. Now, it's the end of this level that's not fun at all. From what I remember, because sometimes this, like the last level like this. Oh, dearie me. Now I can't see a dang thing. Spider. Oh, come on! Boogala, indeed. Yep. Oh, I did the same mistake. I can't tell if there's a pit here. Uh, I couldn't see that. It's not fair, man. Now, wait this time. Uh, what? How did that get me? Oh, come. How did that get me? That's not. No. Right, got past it that time, so hopefully. Yeah, it's this part that makes this bit tricky. Oh, thank you. There's a checkpoint. Right, so. Oh, no. Oh, come on. That put me off. Why did the light go out? Why did that light go out? That went out way too soon. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Right. So, jump across to here. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, and that's not even all the boxes. Oh, no, it is. Thankfully, it is. That's the part I told you that sucks about this level. It's that last jump right there at the end. So, because it always gets so dark so soon, you cannot see where the hell you're jumping sometimes. Oh, now this again. Now I'm in the same situation I was last time. Ah! Oh. It's always that same spot. Game. Oh, what? Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, what? <laughs> Game. Why can't you just be nice for once, man? This was the original crash. I would have lost my mind by now. Not that I haven't already, but you know, that's not the point. Because if this was the original crash, I would have had to start the entire level again every time. There is no way to jump and avoid that. Oh, come on. Reach, reach it. What the hell? I was right there. That was the end. I had the first spider. Thank you. Yes. Oh, yes. I beat this nasty stage. Oh. Ta-da, indeed. I am not doing this again.
Screw doing the relic challenges. No way in hell. <laughs> no chance. Okay, so now we're going to do castle machinery. And for what I remember, this is not a fun stage. Yep. I will show you what that green platform does another time, but for now, we're going to do this legitimately. Because we need to get the gem that's in this level. Right, so... You do your thing, robot. Do the robot dance. The robot shovel. <laughs> right. I know I I know I hum the song a lot of times, but this is what I use to um mix my um my voice with the game so I'm in the right the right timing. Sometimes I do that even before I record the the video like while i'm recording like i i go to like menu screens and i move up and down and go one two and all that stuff just to make sure i match everything but you know that's not important to talk about right now but maybe i could do a tutorial video one day to show you how i record stuff and um how i edit it and what i used to edit but, um that'll be for another day because people will be curious they always go like oh how do you edit videos and stuff here and i'll be like oh that's the secret revealed for another time. Anyway, speaking of another time, because I'm invincible, I could just jump past the steam, so no problem whatsoever. There's only 27 boxes in this level, man. Did we jump down here? Yep. I don't think so. Right, jump up to here. And gonna break all these boxes all right here we go is there a way up there i don't think so hope not anyway i don't jump on that because that's gonna bounce you up to that that boiling pipe so not a good idea to do so we're gonna jump up to here for now and just destroy some robots You know, for a level that's got a less amount of boxes, it's quite a long level. Like, you think it would have been shorter than this, but nope. Oh, this is the tricky part. Right. Oh, yeah. Just as I said. But right, I know what you've got to do. You've got to do something like this. You've got to go bang, bang, bang. Basically like that. So there's one box left. Now, hopefully I don't rip and let's just hope that I haven't missed a box while I'm progressing forward in the game. There's the last box. So, got to avoid some death traps. I'll let the steam do its thing first. There we go. Oh, jeez. Then you have to do this part every single time. Thankfully, I got the rhythm right for that. All right, it was that one that got me last time, I think. And then we just got to jump over these pipes here. And... I think you can bounce on him, yep. And there's the gem. Sweet. That's that level done with. Woo! That is a crazy, crazy time. Woo-wee. 82%. All right, so... And we're on another boss fight. Okay. Dr. Nitrous Brio. Now, he can be a tricky boss. Be very tricky indeed. All right. What are we going to do is when he throws his potions you've got to i think spin them i think you jump on them yep you jump on them so it's just the green ones he throws those as well but those are bad it's only when he throws the green potions it's when you've got to attack them so you jump on them as soon as you see them oh well there we go right let's try this again right 
when you throw that one, you jump on the head. So he does throw these potions, so... So again, he throws the green ones, jump on their head. Let it jump and jump on their head. They look like... um. I don't, I'm not sure how many of you people remember this game. There was a game on the Mega Drive called the, the Ooze. They basically look like that. Probably put a picture on screen for you right now so you can see what I'm talking about. If those of you don't know what I'm referring to. There we go. Now, I think there's one more phase to this part. Right, hold on. He's going to throw another green one. No, he's not. That's when he starts drinking the potion. So what you've got to do here is um, jump on this and you jump on his head like that. So he's, every time he comes forward, stand on these blocks. Then you just jump on his head like that. This is probably the easiest part of this phase. So again, he'll come forward, jump on his head. And that's it. Because in that phase, he only takes three hits. While the other one, it took quite a, quite a bunch of them, actually. And there goes Brio. Ooh. Not a fun level at all. Well, I mean... And there's the lab. I think that's the gem that I need for that thing. And that's what takes you back to Sanity Beach. And this is the lab. And this is another level that's not very fun. And I have to do without dying. Oh, great. This is not a great level at all. Not fun in the slightest, as you can see. Right. Oh, I need that. Right, hold on. Sometimes that's hard to time, so... There we go. Now, just be careful where you spin sometimes because behind these boxes could very well be a TNT crate. So you don't want to just rush ahead and do silly things. You can get that extra guy. And there's a corner. And so, we, so it doesn't count if you die in these levels because you don't lose a life. So that's fortunate. I'm hoping I got them all. all. Right, remember these take five bounces. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. Oh, I missed the box. Right, I need to do this again. Okay, I think it's that box up here that I need to get up above. How do I get up there though? Oh, I think there is a thing up there, but I can't. I can't see that. How to do? All right, that's how you do it. That was two boxes up there, but two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's all of them. All right. Hopefully, I get better luck to beat the rest of this level because this level, as I mentioned earlier, sucks. Especially enemies like this. Just gotta time these sparks. There he goes. And like that. And what does this do? Oh that thingy's that. Wait a second. And just go forward. And we go forward like that. Wait till the sparky sparks go. There we go. Oh, jeez, I forgot about you. Oh, mate. Now, this is an annoying one. Right, just wait until these boxes blow up. Right, wait until the sparks. Woo! 
There he goes. Right. Uh, I'm, I, I do apologize for going silent here. Just try. Oh, geez, hold on. There we go. Three more boxes. Right, hold on. Oh, no! Oh, what the hell? Oh, come on! It's electrifying! Oh, I'm hoping I've got it. Uh, there you go. There's the last one. Just these boxes. Hold on. Calm down. Let it blow up. Thank you. Right, that's that level done. Oh. My blood's literally boiling, man. Right. Oh, <laughs> great. No. I don't want to do this level. This one's annoying as well. Uh. <laughs> do I have to do this one? Do I have to do this one? Uh, I may as well go do it now. Uh, while I'm here. This is the hardest. This is even harder than Stormy Ascent. Oh. I hope I can do this. One jump is always the trickiest one to do. And oh, I did it first try. Yes. <laughs> oh, and then I've got to do the boss fight. Well, that's the last level, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to get the last colored gem. And then what I'm going to do in the next episode, it's going to be the... It's going to be where I backtrack and get the rest of the gems from the levels. And then it will finish off with the boss fight. So without... And if I delay, let's go quickly do lights out and then beat this and get the gem. Right, here we go. So we got here without dying. And there should be three boxes up here. Uh, Yep. Sweet. There we go. There's the purple gem. And that is all the colored gems, I believe. Which puts us at 90%. So, yep. I think that's all the color. Yep, that's all the colored gems. So, there is technically only one level to do, which is um, Dr. Neo Cortex. But what I'm actually going to do, go back to Insanity Beach, because I'm going to have to replay a couple of the levels to get the gems. But that'll be for the next episode. So, I guess I'm going to finish this episode and continue next time. So, thank you so much for watching. And as per usual, if you liked what you've seen, please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to hit the bell if you want to see any more videos or any more live streams that me or Brad produce on this channel. I've been Kieran of Gaming Weekly Update, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>